Okay, so we have the basic elements and everything going of the drum beat. So next we're going to deal with the other sounds, right? What, what other sounds would we put in here? Hmm? Bass line probably, maybe a lead line, maybe some texture sounds as well, right? Let's go ahead and go to another sampler instance. And let's stick with what we've got going on here. Some of these tones were very usable, what I had. And I probably would do, if I had more time, I probably would do a couple more variations of the stretch, maybe stretch it out to five or six minutes long and listen to the artifacting that goes on then. There's other variables that I can change with it as well. So this was really kind of the, uh, the fast, fast course version of the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is create another instance of sampler. And I'm going to take the tone that I had and I'm going to drop it back in here again. And let's go ahead and crop the sample. And if I hold down the key. So right now, it just sounds like a one shot sample. So what I'm going to do is, this is a complex tone. It's not going to loop 100% perfectly. What I want to do is I want to loop it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into a forward loop mode. And I'm going to go ahead and take my loop range and shorten it here. Then I have what's known as a crossfade. Crossfade is how you loop complex sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the crossfade on so that the sound is now going to loop without a pop. Okay, sounds like a solid bass tone, right? Perhaps. Let's go ahead and add some more of the synthesis functionality to this. So we'll use the filter in the low pass mode. And Sampler has a wave shaper on it also. And this is actually one of my favorite aspects of the engine. And I can run the wave shaper before or after. It's a type of distortion that's going to add a bit more bite, a little bit more drive to the whole thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the filter frequency move. I'm going to go to the LFO here. Let's go to LFO2 and let's choose filter frequency. And I'm going to make a wobble bass to go along with this, a deeper one. Let's actually do this to volume instead of the filter frequency because I liked where it was before. Let's turn on the first LFO, shut the second one off, and let's set this to volume instead. And I want to run this in reverse, so let's put this into negative polarity on the second one. And let's go here and... Okay, so starting to sound like a bass sound, right? So let's go ahead and go back to the session view. And what I'm going to do is, let's see which track is it coming up on the one that's record engaged, right? Let's rename this bass or call it sub bass. And then let's go in to the clip and I am going to just draw the notes in here. Let's find the right pitch. So we'll do it like this for one measure and then duplicate the entire loop.
And then for the second one, we're going to go ahead and just make it a half step higher. Nothing complex here. So if we play the whole thing back now. So I'm going to go ahead and create another sampler track. And I think that this time what I want to do is I want to create a little bit of texture for the sound, some sort of ambient type of thing that will sit nicely on top of all of this. So I'm going to go back to the arrangement view. And I might as well take this piece again and drop it in. And one of the very, very cool things that I, you know, I just, I absolutely love about sampling technology and, you know, it's, it's also one of these things, it's kind of a buzzword that people talk about, granular synthesis, granular synthesis. Have you heard about granular synthesis? It's really cool. What is granular synthesis? Well, believe it or not, it's actually a function of the sampler. And if the sampler has the capability to adjust some of these particular parameters related to how we would create granular sounds, um, we can make granular sounds and use the sampler as a granular synthesizer. So I'm going to go ahead. I have this key uh, keyed in basically if I hold down C. I'm going to go ahead and put it into a forward loop. And I'm going to make a very, 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 very short sample loop. Let's zoom in and see this at the absolute microscopic level. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that it moves through that sample over time. So I'm going to go to my modulation, go to auxiliary, and I'm going to go ahead here to sample loop start. And I'm going to go ahead and put a long attack on it. I'm going to turn the sustain up. So what is really missing from this whole equation here is effect processors. So I'm just going to quickly pull up a couple of effect <coughs> processors just to kind of smooth the sound out a little bit, put it into some space. I'm going to use the Convolution Reverb Pro, which is my new favorite reverb inside Live. It's actually part of the Max for Live edition. OK, so let's go ahead and choose halls. And let's go to large hall here. Hall large, let's turn the dry wet amount up. Let's first go ahead and take the snare drum and put it through some reverb. So let's turn this up for the snare and the hats as well. Let's shut the bass off for a quick second, just so that we can hear everything together. Uh
So let's track in the texture sound. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I hope that it's, you know, maybe sparked a couple of ideas here and there as far as some of the things that you can do. Um, I've had a great time here at the show this year and hopefully I'll be back here again next year. Thank you all very much. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.